I did that, you're not gonna like our lessons. Right. <laughs> what, what is this guy doing? So look at the speed of the left hand. You see, it's, it's slower than what you do. Can you slow down the travel mm -hmm. in the left sure. hand? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> You see how the brain is yeah. not really connected to the right. hand? So just try two notes. Forget about the E. Okay. Find this, please. And then do it until the left hand listens to the brain. If there's a command from here to there, it eventually will respond. Okay. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Again. Good, good. Progress. You are starting to put safety devices in place. So that shift is no longer a matter of being lucky, but it's now a matter of knowing how to listen to the arriving note in the previous bow, and then you play for real with confidence, because you just heard it, right. right? Good. That's how all the shifts work in this kind of anticipated way, mm -hmm. uh, whether it's in a concerto we are talking about, or in a fugue, or, or in an arpeggio. So it's time to practice this consistently now. So if you play any arpeggio at random, it's the same, see, same kind of shifting. It's impossible to miss if you hear that note before you play it for real. See, I already heard it. Right. So that's how you have to start to practice with the safety device in mind. This is not the only way of shifting, this is just mm. one of the ways. We can also do on purpose a delayed shift or new bow shift. Mm. concerto you may want that for a musical reason but in a technical exercise like an etude or an arpeggio you may want the other kind uh, to learn first for right. safety so if I'm doing an etude or practicing then really practicing these now or in it right and again uh, if I think sometimes in a context of a romantic uh, repertoire work you may we may decide that maybe a delay shift is more effective we will deal with that at that point until mm. then I would suggest that you do the other kind for the arpeggio the anticipated kind so you can get yourself used to listening to that little helping note okay okay 